BattleBot battle begins. In the BattleBots arena, armor is shredded, sparks fly, and the robots are torn to pieces. Whoa, Whoa Scorpius has come off. When the smoke clears, the teams are left with the carnage that remains. Today, Monsoon's weapon goes down. Mecha Rampage gets lit up, and Bale Spear loses control. Can their bots be repaired in time for the next fight, or will their championship dreams end here? This is BattleBots Resurrection. Team Monsoon, led by Captain Tom Brewster of the UK, took to the arena with their vertical spinner bot, wielding a weapon capable of hitting at almost 250 miles per hour. Though they were ultimately able to defeat Team Red Devil, they left the box smoking and unable to spin up their weapon. Monsoon's smoking a little bit. With only a matter of hours before their next fight, they pull their bot back into the pits to investigate. So that was Red Devil. That was when we were upside down. If you see the paint on it, look. You see the paint of Red Devil there. So the idea was, we were upside down, the bar would have been spinning the wrong way. We trapped them. That's why the bar stopped. That's the damage. I think the excitement of the, the arena and the opponent falling to bits was enough to keep us going. Meanwhile, team captain Christian Carlberg runs a wide horizontal spinner called Mecha Rampage. Unfortunately, it was the one that was rampaged during its first fight, resulting in a massive chemical fire in the box. Mecha Rampage is on fire, trying to extinguish himself by spinning itself even faster and faster. He and his team pull the bot out of the match to see if they'll be able to salvage it for their next fight tomorrow. You have 500 pounds of robot you're going up against. And when you have 250 pounds here, you have 250 pounds here between you and holding you, you're not gonna be able to spin up. We're gonna give it a night to cool down. And then we're gonna take Mecha Rampage apart. And we're gonna take, get a better idea of where the fire started and what's going on and how we're gonna fix it. Definitely got fried. Definitely toasty. Lipos are amazing batteries, but when they go bad, they go bad in a big way. Back over at Monsoon, team member Tim is diagnosing the source of the smoke from the last fight against Red Devil. If it's motors that go, you smell the lacquer straight away. If it's lipos, there's a hell of a bigger burn, and you know, it'll smoke for ages. So what we've got is the dual belt control on here. The belt had been trying to spin up the weapon, but the blade was blocked, causing it to start smoking. And the force of that robot hitting that buckled it, and that's hard ox, it's pretty tough stuff. Now we know this works. That was it, the that was the can hand thing. out some punishment. It's, you know, it's, it's we're, we're gonna go full serious. Yeah, come get us. Don't say that, because they'll give us tombstone. Like they will. I kind of want that. On top of rushing to make repairs, Team Monsoon also has to start talking strategy for their next fight against the Crusher bot Petunia later today. And Team Captain Tom has a plan. Looking at the fight, I think we might be okay. Um, we've got plastic lids, which if they go through, they could get our lipos, and that could be a big ball of fire, of course. I reckon if we go up their front wedge, and if we turn just a little bit, we will be able to clip their Crusher and rip it clean off. As next door neighbors in the pit, Team Monsoon and Team Petunia have had time to evaluate each other's bots. And Petunia's team captain Misha has some advice for Tom before their next match tomorrow. I <laughs> just told them you have 18 kilos left to put armor on when you take this one out. <laughs> so that's my plan for you guys. If you want to survive, yeah. better do what I say. Do you think we should take off the weapon? Yeah, that's, yeah take that's, off that's the, weapon the best choice. Yeah. And put yeah. extra armor here. You yeah. know the name of this robot? Oh, something pathetic. Right? Tunia. Pathetic? Tunia. Tunia's flower. <laughs> flower? Yeah, flowers oh, like flowers. the rain. Flowers are like innocent and like, won't hurt anybody. Flower, flowers like monsoon. A little bit rain. Oh, they do. A little bit cool rain. Cool them down. Yeah. But too much rain and... Having diagnosed the cause of the fire, Christian is now racing the clock to rebuild the bot and make the electrical changes necessary to not burst into flames again. We were burning up because we were putting too much current through the system. So we need to lower that. But if you lower the current, you lower the power. You could compensate by raising the potential, raising the voltage. We're going to change the battery packs and do a different chemistry LiPo pack that should have a little bit less amp flow. We're gonna strip this completely down, clean as much as we can to rebuild it, and uh, I can't guarantee we won't catch on fire again, but that's not a bad thing, it was a lot of fun. Team Monsoon is also facing battery issues. Coming out of that last fight, we've discovered that the drive batteries aren't high capacity enough, essentially, right? The batteries have got a lot flatter um, than they would have back at home. There are gonna be some people here that have some batteries that we can 
we didn't buy, I guess. Yeah, we just went to a store and uh, something was about four times more expensive than we expected it to be. It looks like we'll be buying off another team. With store-bought batteries out of their price range and only a few hours left before their next match, they pay a visit to Team Hypershock, one of the veteran BattleBots competitors. Do you have any batteries? We have okay. When did you say your match was? Second session during the yeah. day? Yeah. My suggestion is take these, see if they fit, put connectors on them so you have them, and if you don't need them, then give them back, and if you do need them, then you have them. Well, we just need one. Okay. Are you cool? Yeah. If that's all right. Go for it. Thanks. How much would you need? Don't about it. Sure? Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah. It's battle bots, man. <laughs> After quickly installing the new batteries and racing time to get their bot back together, Monsoon makes their way into the test box. With the brand new batteries still untested, a failure here could be disastrous for their upcoming match against Team Petunia. Right, left, forward, backward. Luckily, the drive operates at full potential, but the weapon still needs to spin up in under 10 seconds for them to feel comfortable enough to fight. Three, two, one, go. While Monsoon heads out on deck, another bot already in the battle box is facing major issues. Team Balespear, led by Captain Earl Pankos, has built a large wheeled bot designed to pierce the opponent with a metal spike. But before the match even starts, they spot smoke coming from their drive motor and are forced to pull it from the battle. With only 15 minutes to get it working before they're disqualified, several teams have come together in the pit to help. Earl came in with a really high drive motor on one of his wheels. The mag was seized up, it looked like the chain was too long inside and it locked over. So the mag motor was super hot, so he had to replace the mag motor in that side. Grab a wheel. Grab a wheel, start putting the nuts on. I got no duct tape, do you want zip ties? Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's right. In the shuffle, some of their key supplies got left outside and have to be fetched before they can finish. Hold on, this this goes on this nut. I'm in. Go. Rest the rules. Earl, you gotta check your stuff. You gotta rotate that one. Let me tighten it. You got it? Yeah, you gotta rotate that one. Duct tape? Yeah, like that one with the duct tape? I gotta do this till I get the hat. It's a piece of grinder. I had about four different teams come together and help me. Uh, I had Red Devil team helping me here. I had Kraken team. I had Ultimate Destructo, Bombshell. And I'm sure there's more that I missed in the blur of people that were helping me. With only minutes to go, the crowd outside roars with anticipation. Everybody tries to say, well, who do you want to beat up? Who do you want to fight? Who do you want to kill? And that's really not what we are. We all just want to help each other and have good matches. But Bale Spear still lays motionless and exposed. You know, somebody needs help, everybody jumps in. With only seconds to spare, go, go, go. Team Balespear heads out towards the arena. <laughs> Will the repairs be enough for Balespear to survive? Will Monsoon's batteries fold up against Petunia? And will Mecha Rampage go up in flames again? Find out on BattleBots. <laughs>